early Wisconsin morning, a host of Badger Cooley project construction contractors, including Henkels and McCoy and Erickson Air Crane, convene at a helicopter landing zone near the project right-of-way. As the morning mist clears, construction team leaders detail the challenging task ahead. Teamwork, attentiveness, communication, and safety are paramount. Each member of the extensive crew prepares for the day, mobilizing to their work locations on the right-of-way, in the helicopter, at the landing zone, or at the road crossings. The Ericsson crew prepares the air crane by fueling, cleaning, evaluating the engine systems, and conducting pre-flight safety checks. Hovering just above the staging area where a small crew has assembled, the winds intensify as the air crane operator works with the construction team below to safely secure pole sections. The structures along this construction segment were installed using two types of designs. Structure segments can be designed to either be bolted together or slipped together. When this is done with the use of an air crane, diamond guides, which look like triangles at the top of each structure section, are used to assist crews with aerial installation. Next, the middle sections of the structures are installed. There can be two or three middle sections depending on structure size and design. While slip joints were used along the line, the bolted-on flange joints were needed in some areas that have a potential for high axial loads, specifically uplift. Flange joints are also used in areas with structure height limits, such as Federal Aviation Administration imposed limits or vertical phase-to-phase -phase spacing in compact designs. Designed, planned, and ultimately executed with skill and precision, the air crane follows a pre-planned flight pattern and structure section picking order. In addition to bolted-on flange joint structures, slip joint structures also were installed with the use of a diamond guide. The air crane pilot is then able to lower the structure sections that slip together on top of one another. The air crane crew is in constant communication with ground crews in order to ensure a successful operation. Ground crews refuel the air crane throughout the day. Returning to the staging area, the air crane flight crew picks up the top section of the structure. The operator and pilots work in harmony to align the slip joints. This takes marked precision and constant communication among the crew. After pole installation is complete, smaller helicopters are used to install pole ropes, which ground crews use, along with winch systems, to pull the heavier transmission line wires into place. Badger Cooley crews worked with helicopter contractor Ericsson to set 43 transmission line structures in four days along the last project construction segment. The heavy lift helicopter used for construction saved weeks of construction time and made it possible to access challenging areas with hilly terrain. The project, which was placed in service in December 2018, electrically connects the Dane County, Wisconsin area with the La Crosse County, Wisconsin area. It is an important part of the electric transmission grid in the state and will improve electric reliability provide access to lower cost power and help deliver renewable energy.